Maybe real tight, tight up over here. Get one lurking on these rocks. I called it. Oh my God, he's on the rocks or something. Those are marina fish, right? Or close to the marina fish. Call a lot of shots all day long and you never actually catch them. And then when it finally is right, you're like, I totally called it. I haven't seen a big fish here with my eyes just in a spot in years. People will always tell me like, oh, there's a big fish there. I don't ever see it anymore. I either catch them or I see them. Like, that's it. Like, I don't ever see big fish just lurking. They never chase me. It's like, they either get them or they're not gonna, I don't see them. There's the float we want. Look at that, I love it. So when the tail's down like that, it doesn't want to dive down. If it's nose heavy, the fins by design catch the water and want to pull it down. But if you put weight in the butt end, it's going to make it so it, when, it, when you start retrieving it, it's going to level out versus nose downing because the weight in the back end wants to keep that tail down. Into the wind, dude. I hate that. Damn. Fish hammered it, dude. Oh, here we go. Cookie cutter of these same ones. People think that's not enough hook. That little guy ate that thing, no problem, right? It's just barely sticking out, but you're just looking to catch him like that. Tink, in the corner of the mouth. And the bottom hook hooks him in the corner of the mouth. And I think it helps you get bites. I know it's not everybody's fishing super pressured fish, but I, I always say it, man. If, if you're fishing places that aren't pressured, big fish still see things. Regardless, so just imagine the fish you might be catching if you were being a little bit stealthier. All right, let's move. Those ones are fired up over here though. Oh, that's a group. Come on, eat it. God damn you. <laughs> I think they're all little dudes, but Oh, no. That was a good one. That was wild, dude. Just a little thump something for him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! I 
That guy smoked it. Don't pull the... She just, she just like gave up. She, just, <laughs> she, see that's the type of top water bite you want where you just feel it. Boom! Cookie cutters, dude, right? He's gonna have to chill for a little bit. Don't want him running down there and telling his friends, right? <laughs> we gotta get out of that range, that size fish though, but it's definitely, uh, I mean, it's not the 10 inch, it's the eight inch. So you're gonna catch numbers on it as well, but you can get some big ones on it. Not me right now, but it can, it can happen. There's a bunch of fish out here, let's see. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> On that beast hook right there. Another little nice chunky one, right? All right. There you go. See you, little girl. There you go. They like said when you set the hook with the beast hook, you have to mean it and you have to be willing to like swing and miss sometimes but when you when you connect you need to make sure you drive that hook home and it means you got to be quick with it and hit them and, and it, this bait just collapses around the dot so well if it's just boom Let's see if there's something on this little little stump over here Oh, God. Look at these little guys. Yeah, he's a, right in the corner. That's exactly where they need to be. On the bottom floating model. That's where you want to get them. Ooh, gross sounding. I missed it. He got it that time. Better one. Where are you, girl? Come on. Oh, don't dog me. Come on. Come on. There we go, there's a better one. Oh, there we go, a little bit better. There's a little bit better one. That's what we're looking for right there. Been chasing this fish around. I think we may have got a good one. Tyrant eight, just creeping on the top. Oh yeah. Dude. No giants, but nice quality ones right here. Real fun to catch. But it's time to get off the water. Head on home. All right, girl, you're free to go. There she goes. <laughs>